Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, today we're going to be discussing a topic I haven't discussed before, but uh, you may have saw it in my last video, but it's barges. Barges are a pretty good way of attacking someone. So we're going to go over here and uh, get ready to uh, demonstrate. So there's many, many, many different kinds of barges you can make. So you have like uh, offensive barges, like four barges and arty barges. We also have, uh, uh, I guess there, you can also use uh, arcs and turrets uh, and put that in a barge and just like drive up to your enemy. Maybe uh, you use a uh, uh, keep on top of your body to keep it safe from uh, defenses. Oh, so you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to be defended against arcs. But then you also have the kind of barges that do like beacon barges or like face barges or just something to get power around. I don't know why you'd want to stick a or if you want to stick a tank on it, but I don't know why you do that, just to move, uh, like, a tank of iridium around. It just doesn't make that much sense to me, but you can do it if you really want to. So, I went ahead and made a sprawl right here, connected a little bit of storage from the spawn. Alright, so, first thing we need to do is get a garage. That's kind of an obvious thing, so, um, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna pipe it. I really don't like piping garages, but, oh well. Ah, uh, there we go. So... Now we got a barge. Uh, we, we need some way to power the barge. So what we're going to do is set up a dual transceiver. So what we're going to do is stick a, a ladder here, an uh, additional ladder up here, and the final ladder up here. Once we do this, we're going to stick a double tra uh, transceiver up here, uh, another one right here. And then while, while we do this, we got to wait for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place two of them up. Well, one has, one has to be down, and then one can just be wherever you want it. So this can just be any direction you want. So then we're going to connect it like this. This is for simple piping. Then we're going to bring this pipe down and just slowly, uh, oops, there we go. So we're just going to continue to bring this down and connect it. Uh, I'm going to get some extra piping we might need in the future. All right, so we're going to bring this up. Um, that right there. And then we can use that right there. So now we have a way of getting power to our barges. So we have tons and tons of different barges you can make. You can do them in tons of different ways. So you can let's start with an arty barge. So there's many many ways you can make an arty barge. Everyone makes their own different kind of arty barges. Uh, sometimes they make them self-powered. Sometimes they don't. You can use an anchor. You can anchor it. Use like doing this way. Stick a for forward here or something that anchors like a valve or a pipe or something, and just connect it with a pipe. Uh, as you can see, if I try to get up and move, it will not move. All right. And now if I break this. And let's say I connect it to the ground with pipe. Let's see, hopefully this... Oh, okay, well, in this case it worked. Sometimes they don't, it just depends. Maybe if I uh, do this, move it down, and just connect it right there. Alright, so I guess that worked. Sometimes it doesn't work. I guess it just depends if it works or not. I, I would recommend like putting another anchored bit right here, uh, just for safety, because sometimes it doesn't work, in my experience. As you saw in the video, it does work that way, but I, I don't know. I usually find it better luck to add an anchor point. So first, we're, if you're not using an anchor like this, uh, the benefits of just like putting a pipe down, it takes like two seconds, uh, and uh, anchors take iridium. And they also take two seconds to turn on, I suppose, but it's just not a good idea because it's a waste a bit of power. And what you, you, what you don't want to be doing is attacking your enemy, and then you lose power. So, and then there's another way you can do uh, arties. You can go like this and just flat stick an arty, and um, or like this. Oh, gotta wait for it to build. You can do it this way, shoot like this, or you can wedge it. So what you do is, oops, just gotta break that. You can build a wedge. Oops, I gotta block that out later in the video. So you can put a wedge here, and then you can put a arty here. Alright, this is two ways to build this. Now I'm going to show you how I make my arty barges. So, first I'm going to break this. Alright, there we go. So now we got a fresh bar barge. I'm just going to stick a, uh, a ladder here, place a cap there. You can also build a can- ooh, what's going on here? Alright, you can also place a condenser right here and pipe it like this. I mean, the, the there's benefits and negatives to it. One benefit is it's self-powered, you don't have to worry about the barge falling or anything. But a negative is that uh, you can only go the, to this level, the second level. If you go to the third level, it, it, it won't be able to power the barge. It, will slow, it may work for a little while, but it'll slowly uh, 
eat up the tank that's in it, like which is like right here and here. All right, so once I got this, we're gonna build a fabricator right here, and uh, not a fabricator, uh, a transceiver. We're only gonna build one. It, you can build one or two up here. I occasionally just like to build two for my main thing, just to be able to transfer more radium. So what we're gonna go down here is, it just depends where I put them. I'm just gonna put a tank right here. Ah, crap. Ah, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna place a pipe right here. Oops. Ah, here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be. There we go. All right, and we're also gonna place a distributor right here. And this looks like I won't be needing the bottom pipe. Oops, uh, there we go. So you only really need two. And now, oh, why isn't that working? That should be working. Oh, I think I'm too close actually. So if I move this. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, I think that pipe right there was blocking it. Or you saw my mouse like right up there. I think that was blocking it. I don't. I don't know. It appears that we're still connected right here. So I'm gonna continue building it right here. So I, you might have saw in my last video, I built it like this. I stuck a wedge right here, a uh, 30, 30 degree wedge. Then I'm just gonna stick an arty right here and an arty right here. To power uh, one arty minimum, you need four decaps, and you can power two uh, using four decaps as well. Um, so you can click connect it like this and then put uh, four decaps right here. So I don't know how many f how many uh, four decaps will power how many artils it is. I don't know. Uh, but as you can see, both are filling using four decaps because they transfer 25 radium per second. So yeah. All right. Uh, what they, what the thing is, what they, they don't need the transfer speed. They actually need the storage that is in the... Uh, thing. So as you can see, it says it needs 50. So based on that, uh, let's see here, artillery. So the shot cost is 160. And since um, one decap only does 25, you need to get to 160. So what would that be? Uh, 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. That'll give you 200. And if you only had three, that would only give 150. So that's why you need four decaps. Uh, to power an artillery. So what actually is happening instead of the transfer speed, you're actually these decaps are actually storing the radium you need for the arty. So next we're just gonna uh, place a uh, what do you, um crap uh, a spawn. So we're just gonna place that. Then we're gonna stick a decap here, and then we're gonna place a valve here. So you'll I'll, you'll see what I mean why I'm doing that. So now I'm going to place some some ways so like. Uh, the enemy can't uh, steal my barge. Just place some defenses here and there. Uh, it just doesn't matter where you place them. Uh, you can place in a uh, turret here. Uh, if you want a turret higher up, you can place one like right here or somewhere on the stem. Just make sure you're not covering the, the range of the transceiver so it can get power. Because uh, they have unlimited range, but it has to be in a line of sight. So that's the issue with that. All right, so we're pretty much done now. We have defenses, we have artilleries, we have a spawn. All right, so let's let's get moving. So I move over here. Uh, we can do like this. Let's say we're ready to. Uh, it's a terrible area. So. Uh, oh, I should have built a fabricator in here. I'll do that next. But there we go. And if I do this, uh, this may work or may not. Okay, it did work. So if you don't, make sure it's anchored when you're doing this, or else, like, anchored by mean like it won't move, or else these artilleries will fling your barge. So now you can see that we have an artillery barge that does do damage, as you saw on that spire up there. So there, we got our first barge design. All right, so I recommend putting a fabricator, like, right here or something. It, it's helpful. So we're going to go ahead this way, back onto the mainland, to build our second barge. So this is going to be another artillery barge, just another design. I don't really do these very often, so uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure I have the best design, but uh, oh well. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try a different method. I'm going to show what I showed in the other, other thing. So there we go. Oh, shoot. Um, there we go. All right, so if you place a pipe right here, as you can see, it should power it. It will slowly go up. I'm not sure if you can see, you can see that. Oh yeah, that has to fill up first, that's why. All right, so as you can see, it is being powered. 
because it's uh, uh, increasing in power here and it's not leaking. So you gotta make sure it's, ooh, I'm getting a little bit of lag spikes, what the heck? Uh, hold on, let me close an application that's probably eating up a lot of storage. There we go, all right. Uh, I'm at memory. Uh, I'll also close this Discord right here. All right, so that might help it a little bit. There we go. All right, so what should we do now? Let's build the, uh, let's build this way. So we're gonna stick two arties right here. It just depends how you like it. I mean, I personally do the 30 degree angle. Uh, some people like it this way, it just depends. But I would recommend getting a double RD. A uh, single RD, uh, it's not very helpful. It will do some damage, but not as much as you could do. Uh, triple RD is kind of unnecessary. So, yeah. As you can see, we now, we should power. Oh, it's not powering because. Ooh. All right. So let's let's solve that power issue. So let's get um, a transceiver up here so we can power that. So now we need a tank of some sort and a distributor of some sort. All right, so we'll place that there. All right, there we go. Cap, uh, pipe that, elbow right here. Maybe just uh, pipe this up here. There we go, now they should be powering. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so the issue was that this distributor right here was not reaching over here to that fourth cap. All right, so it wasn't getting its proper storage. All right, so I'm not, oof, 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 lag, what the heck? Uh, I don't know what's been going on on my computer recently. It's, it's, it's been interesting. Here, let me close MLR tab, there we go. Uh, I believe I can close it more and do the, in the task menu. All right, close that. I don't really think I need you, close you. All right, that should be good. I'm just gonna make sure my OB okay OBS is fine. All right, so after that, we have a simple um, uh, RD barge. So let's say you want to go with the particle design, uh, particle method. So I'm not really good with this the barge design. I haven't done it in ages, so I'm just I'm just kind of winging it right now. I'll get the main points, but obviously you can modify how you wish. So now this will not move in theory. If I go up, it will not move. It will not do anything. So. Here we go. All right, so now we're going to build the fabricator I was talking about. These are extremely helpful if you need to build bridges and you don't want to build it yourself or maybe a pipe if you're going that direction. So we're going to uh, cap that. We're also going to put some defenses everywhere, just some. It's not to be a whole lot. There we go. This should be more than enough. You don't really need insane defenses. You just need to keep them away from your um, uh, our arties or our artilleries, if you want to call them that. So now we have a fully fun functional uh, barge. So if we go up, oops, I uh, had to close the profab. I'm um, portafab, I mean. If we go up and we just click this at some point, there we go. Uh, then we can just, uh, sh let's say we're sh attacking enemy over here. Just attack the enemy like so, and boom, they're dead. I mean, obviously they can attack back, but this is just like building an artillery out of nowhere. They have to. They have to prepare for it, basically. Like, if they don't have a, a rocket or maybe an arsenal to make a rocket, it's going to take them some time. And, if I mean, maybe they can uh, spam some walls to buy them time, but this is a good strategy if there's no sky base in the air or if you want to take down a sky base, which has little defense and they're not really paying attention very much. It's a good way. Maybe they'll try to take down your sky base if you have one or maybe try to bar, uh, base yours. Just make sure that uh, sky base doesn't have an anchor, or else this is kind of pointless. Or else they probably ask production if they have an anchor as well. All right, um, that's pretty much for this kind of barge. I'm going to just make that. I'm at, uh, yeah, load it up, load it for that. Uh, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right, so moving on to just being a being a jerk kind of barge. So we're gonna just go and build basically a troll barge. So we're going to uh, place some arcs right here. Oops, uh, that did not turn out well. All right, we're gonna break that real quick. So we can just do like this, this, place uh, that right there, and go like this. All right, uh, if you, okay. And then we can just go like this, build a tank right here. Right now we just need 
to build a distributor and a transceiver. So, uh, misc, where is it? They keep changing this. All right, so we need a transceiver and a distributor. So if you watch my space station design, it's gonna be like a similar kind of piping method. I'm gonna go down like, oops, uh, let's see if this works. Uh, there we go, uh, there we go, that works. So as you can see, it's a similar piping method that I used in my uh, uh, space station video. So just, if you watch that, it's, it, you'll, you'll notice this is quite similar. Um, so there we go. Now we have that. Now we can just um, build more arcs if you want, or maybe a spawn if you want to continue. It just depends. Everyone likes these different. It always depends on the situation, how you're going to infl infiltrate the base anyway. So there we go. We have a barge that we can enter someone's base. Now I'm going to show a different design that protects you from getting shot. So in this design, we want to keep in mind of a couple things. So first, we want to make sure we're concealed. So this can do, this can be like putting a keep right here. As you can see, oof, oof, that our body can still show. So what we can do like here is we can stick, I believe we can stick a slab right here. Oops, uh, maybe we can't, all right. Sometimes the slab works, sometimes it doesn't. Else we can just stick a few of those seats right here and that can protect our whole body. And maybe like one under here, there we go. That should protect your body. Maybe, oh actually, uh, Oops, uh, I forget one right about here. Now, uh, shot shouldn't be able to get there. Remember, this does not protect you from uh, arcs, so just keep that in mind. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. You also have to keep in mind that this takes space. So we need to be able to plan for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna build this around the idea of that there's a keep right here. So I'm going to build this right here, so I don't have to worry about this later. So we're just gonna pipe that and be done with that. So I'm gonna build this with the mind that we're gonna be concealed. So now that we have this, it's concealed. So now we're gonna go with the same idea. So we're gonna stick some arcs right here, and we're gonna stick another arc right here, and another arc right here. So now we can just uh, maybe do this. If you, uh, that's not gonna work. We can probably go like this. If you want to like uh, have extra storage on these so they last longer, depends how you want to do it if you want to pipe it like that you can also do the same thing up here uh, stick stick a triple cap on here or we can do the same thing like we did the artillery where you can just like combine it if you really want to do that if you like that design uh, it's better if you do this design it gives it more storage and a higher transfer rate not that it needs it though all right so next we're just gonna simply just put like a keep right here you don't have to you can just put a storage container or something like that and we're just gonna build Ooh, this is gonna be kind of obnoxious, obnoxious, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna just gonna build a trans, uh, not transceiver, a distributor down here. So if we go like this and build this like that, it should work for that. No, it does not. Hmm. All right, so we're just gonna go and do this. There we go. And we can go up. Uh, my piping is not the best, I'll be honest, but. Just do how you, how you feel comfortable and how how you feel like this should be piped. Then you're all good. You don't want to go off my design. You want to create your own design based off other people's designs. That's how you get the best, when you start making your own designs for stuff. So now we have, uh, oh shoot, uh, there we go. All right, so we are fully concealed, it appears. Except from that little bit down there, but I, I wouldn't be too worried about that. So now we can enter the base fine, just like this. We can run up and just like, I guess, kind of just drop down I guess I don't know all right we're gonna go back here once we have that design all right so the next kind of barge we're going to work on is a satchel barge so there's a few things to note here is one is there's an issue usually if you, someone that someone that wants to protect something has walls around it and so there's there's one way you can get around this if if it's not a fully concealed um, you can go like this so I'm not the best at satchel barging, I'll admit that. I haven't done it that much, but I believe you can put a wedge right here. And you can do this if you want, if this is the way you need to do it, or you can uh, put a block here if you wanna go straight. Uh, if you wanna go like that, I can build one straight out and just stick it in there. And then, oh, we need an arsenal for this. So I'm gonna get an arsenal real quick, I'm gonna cap it. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm gonna get a satchel, there we go. Follow me for that. 
Um, we're just gonna continue to. So one thing you want to note is you want concealment. So we're just gonna put the decay right there. So I'd say five to six satchels is probably more than enough you need. What the heck? Uh, uh maybe there we go. All right. So we're just gonna place a few satchels right here. Uh, one, two. Uh, I gotta wait for the cooldown. Three. Oh, oh wait, we're out of iridium. Oops. So what you wanna do is you're probably gonna wanna be around a source of iridium, so like a distributor or something. And so we're just going to place like one or two more. Uh, uh f like I said, five or six should be more than more than like more than enough. I'm just gonna say that. Um, you can place some all around here if you if you wanna get more range. You can stick one right there if you need to, I guess. Uh, it just depends. So you're pr practically much, pretty much done now. Just stick a concealment, something to conceal you, or you can use a, a platform block to stick on top of you if you want to do that way. It's not as, uh, it's not as good as concealment, but it also isn't as tall. So if you don't want to be like as tall, I guess. But as you can see, we can just stick a, stick, stick this little needle in here, and then blow it up. I mean, obviously this probably won't be enough for that, but there we go. Just an example is you can you can shoot it in there and then that attack that area. So as you can, oh, as you can see, it, it did do damage here, but uh, oh, it killed it actually. So um, the actual like spires in this are actually quite OP, but uh, yeah. So that's how you want you to uh, attack an enemy using a satchel barge. So now we're gonna go on to a uh, fabricated barge. So there's as as all all the other barges, there's tons and tons of ways to do it. So we're gonna start off with a decap. We're also gonna go up here with a fabricator, I meant uh, transceiver. Then we're just gonna go off with a tank, a uh, tank, a, a fabricator, a distributor, um, tank, transceiver, distributor, and a tank. I think that's I think I might have repeated myself. I don't know. So that's pretty much all you need for this. Uh, there we go. So if we go like this, hmm, how do we want to do this? All right, this is probably the worst way to pipe this, but it works. So we're just gonna go like this, and we're also gonna go like that. There we go. So we're building a fabricated barge. So since they tran transfer 80 per, 100 per second, uh, where is it? Uh, fabricators transfer 20 per second, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, 20 radium per second. So you can have up to, uh, I'm dumb. Crap, so four is 80, so five. What, that can't be right. I don't know. Usually I just put a uh, eight. I don't even know my math anymore. So if you just put eight, you should be good. I mean, that tank is gonna fill up anyway and that's moving constantly, so I don't know. If you want to be more safe and add more fabricators, I guess you can add a double transceiver here. That's kind of the idea of that. Um, there we go. So we can just build all these, decap these as you go if you want to build faster. It just depends if you have the actual storage for it or not. So we can just continue building like this. Uh, the thing is, uh, usually you want to be able to do that with uh, was that four pumps, but the idea, because we had all the other barges of storage that allowed, allowed us to do it. Anyway, so we're just kind of... Let's say you're gonna go build a beacon. So we're just gonna go up. So you might add defense like a, an arc turn, uh, point defense, or a regular turn if you wanna do that method. But now you can just go around and place, um, uh, what do you call these, beacons as you please. So now you have a way of building a beacon. How does that reach? It's kinda of far, Jesus Christ. But there, you have a beacon if you need a beacon. Um, What did we cover? We covered uh, oh, we need boar barges still. Alright, so that's how you do that. Uh, I'm just gonna sink this barge because this is wasting a lot of power. Alright, there we go. Oof, oof. Wow, that, that was crazy. <laughs> Alright, so that, that built pretty fast, as you can see. I think we're about a fourth way done. Alright, and if you played this game, you know beacons take a while and take a lot of power as well. Alright, so I don't, I think I've only done like boar barges like three or four times, so uh, be patient with me. Like, 
I'm, 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 I'll be honest. I'm terrible at them. If you want, if you want to, someone that's, if you want to know someone that's good at board barges, I talk to Fun Times. He's the god of uh, uh, barges. All right, so we're just gonna start off with two boars to start off. I think that's pretty reasonable. I can't think of how much a boar actually uses per second right now at this moment, but I believe three is uh, passing that amount that you can do. I'll be able to say once these are built. So the idea with uh, boar barges is you can, you can charge up a boar, and let's say you want to attack a, a sky base stem or maybe a bridge or an actual sky base, I guess, if someone uh, built that. So that's how you do that. If you go and press Alt over here on this boar, uh, let's see here. We're looking for uh, passive cost, charge cost. All right, looks like it's taking about 40%. Oops, 40, 40 radium per second. Uh, let's see here. Two shots per second. So I believe that is recharge. Four, I don't even know. Uh, 120. Uh, I can't do the math right now. Let's just say 40 and then 20, 40 after that. So this is going to take 80 for the two of them. 40 each. And once they're fully charged, it's going to take 40 uh, radium. So if you go here, you can also triple cap these. But you can also, if you really want to, you can see I cap that. You can also do a double cap if you want to. I just triple cap just in case, you know, lag causes some things to go wrong. But as you can see, these are charging up. And then you can place a concealment or maybe some defense around. Uh, obviously, you put a transceiver up here to power these. Oof, what's this? Taking all the power. Jesus. Oh, I think the issue is, <laughs> I think the issue is, uh, those four can't power two boars. There we go. Uh, okay. There we go. I think that was the issue. <laughs> that boars take a ton of power. Yeah, I think that's it. Because these take 15, uh, 30, 45, 60. Yeah. So they can't power two boars. They can only power one boar at a time. Unless they're, one's charged and one is not. Then you can do it. Alright, so this kind of moves. You want to be kind of gentle with it. So that That's kind of an issue with boars. So you want to point in the direction that you're attacking. Let's say a sky base is right there. So we're going to go slowly move over there. It should like angle it. It's not the best at it, but it should do it. As you can see, we're slowly making a dent. Uh, but uh, the, the issue is I didn't build a transceiver. You just use the following steps. I'm just trying to end this video. It's kind of getting long. I don't want you to be here forever. But the idea is for this is that you build a transceiver somewhere, somewhere like this tower or uh, or that tower over there. And then so the distributor right there can power it. You can build defenses around it. You can also build a fabricator if you really want to. I don't think you really need it, but you can do it. It's your barge. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, have fun barging. Peace.